and Mijra Hane Zo, on my penny Wadama Zo, a Yarra one year Nijia Zo, now yet the Yamiasi Zo, said Nevadama, and never was with me be near Shiaha Zo, near Sarri or Bossima, a good ye cry Zo, then Naya said the Bayer Bessar Pajama and Janahubu Zo. Nara one is a Nipanya Jetu Mosu or Bossi a good cry Zo. Na ye yen who be bia en ye ye. Zum. Nan so. If ye ben nayas in numne me wa. Zum. Na brofu in name and anna Erika's bontin ma basse. Zum. Na no mine no de edru no de. Jesse ya to tum. Zum. Ne require de befaso. Zum. Na se chen is a. Zum. Na ampa. My no, ye ne boka, ne boka, ne boka. Zom. They are tossed to be on a galam saying so as half a waka. Zom. Edina, ye are yen who be beer in ye. Zom. Edru baby me or one ye be catcher, me say. Zom. Galam say for ya qua a dancing shaft and a crow one mahany in our floor do. Zom. Me frere buy what this was a miss, and my soldier for uncle ye mammy. Zom. A catcher, me say. Na na enti mi nko maso jafu wanko tutu tiyo wa hosa hati sa South Africa. Zom. Enti mi manu ngu. Zom. Edu baby wamo si ya tumu. Ya ba tora mame one dollar. Ma yingi na ya ba tora mame one dollar. Ya ba tutu mde safu wana breme. Zom. Menshi ya mepa wamo cha osu ye nyayi. Zom. Na mepa baba nyami tumi inti beye ye. Zom. Ena Edu say ye. Zom. Di enti ya meka sa rohoni ya nijeno. Zom. My drew baby, my friends, and the young child has any big grandma galam say for no. Zom. Now, woman, no, 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 Zom. That's what by here na nibre ba mu a. Zom. Na ba na piaso a. Zom. Ma parliament ni bibia she she bia wo se ye bia. Aya ene ye nyaman ya ene ye bebie. Zom. You may recall that on Friday 15th July 2016 then as presidential candidate of the new patriotic party for the 2016 election I came to Obwase and interacted with the chiefs and people here. In my remarks, I stated and I quote, I'm going to use every strength, every connection of mine in the world of business to ensure that the Anglo Gold Ashanti mine is reopened and strengthened so as to bring life back to Obwase. I will never give a promise I cannot keep, unquote. Obwase, like the rest of the country, voted massively for me and the new patriotic party in the 2016 election. And I'm delighted to be back here this afternoon to redeem the promise I made to you concerning the reopening of the Obwase Bay. When I make a promise, I keep it. Upon my assumption of office, a series of discussions and negotiations took place. The end result being the redevelopment project of the Obwasi Bay, which had been effectively closed since 2014. In order to help an Anglo Gold Ashanti secure the needed investment for the project, government had to provide a number of fiscal incentives and guarantee the stability of the project against changes in the legal environment, especially in the early years of the mine's operations. It is expected that all the agreements reached, including the vigorous implementation of domestic content policy, will be scrupulously honored and performed. The initial investment in the redevelopment project is 
881 million United States dollars, with a total investment of 1.6 billion United States dollars projected for the entire 22-year life of the mine. The whole incentive package and investment have been approved by Parliament with an estimated 2,500 jobs to be created. This once vibrant town, I'm certain, will be brought back to life again and we can expect an improvement in the living circumstances of its residents. I assure management and staff of the mine that the sequence of events that led to the closure of the mine will not reoccur under the watch of this government. The days of forceful encroachment on the concession of the company, as witnessed between 2010 and 2016, are over. Now, now, ladies and gentlemen, you will all agree with me that the time has come for Obwase to reflect the fact that it hosts the richest gold mine in our country and one of the richest in the world. The distressed state of this town is nothing short of a disgrace and we must work to change the situation. Even though mining companies have over the last few years complemented some of the work of government. I expect Anglo Gold and Shanti will do more this time to help transform Obwase and bring it to par with well-developed mining communities in other parts of the world. When government and mining companies collaborate in an intelligent and sustainable manner, more can be done to transform mining communities. I have no doubt that Anglo Gold, under its current management, will be a constructive partner in this journey. My government had to take a very difficult decision to place a ban on all small-scale mining because of the alarming destruction of our environment. The ban was meant to be a temporary measure, and that is why it was lifted last December. With a considerable degree of success, we have been able to streamline and regulate the small-scale mining sector. We are determined to ensure responsible mining. And I appeal to you, Nananum, to help government in securing for future generations a landscape and vegetation on which they can also survive and thrive. I'm happy to say that today, people are fishing again in one of the famous rivers of our country, the Ancobra. Before I conclude, Nananum, I have some good news for you. As captured in the 2019 budget, the contract for the construction of the Obwasi Arian Quanta Road has been awarded. To <laughs> to Joe Sharp Construction Limited, who is already on site working. Again, government will soon accept the assets relinquishing plan of Anglo Gold Ashanti, which will pave the way for the start of the proposed Obwasi campus of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. I wish the Anglo Gold Ashanti Obwasi mine renewed progress and prosperity, and I'm confident that we are on the cusp of a bold new beginning which will repudiate our nation's recent culture of failure. May God bless us all in our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Mr. President.